we're not, you know, Raquaza. <laughs> we're here to have a good time. It's a weekly. It's Russell's birthday. Hey. We're emo kids. <laughs> we're emo kids on a Thursday. <laughs> on Thursday. Uh, All right, oh, so yeah. next match we got Smasher and Ryuga. And we have a subscription. Hey. Mama Mercy. I actually like playing Mercy. Do you, how much Overwatch have you played? Any? No, I haven't played any. I don't have money for it, man. Okay. I mean, that's acceptable, honestly. Because that was my excuse. And then I got money, and I was like, I guess I gotta buy the game. <laughs> so I bought it. Um, yeah, Mama, Mercy's really fun on certain maps where you can, like, jump around. Shout Yo, what's same, up, man. Jungle Boy? And same with uh, Johnster. Yeah, eat that ice cream up, boy. All right. He works at an ice cream shop. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. No way. He scoops ice cream. He's like, dude, I do it for the Tinder hoes or something. <laughs> <laughs> he always wants me to bring people there, but I don't have anyone to bring. You want to go? Yeah, dude. It'd be funny. Let's roll. Yeah, get some ice cream. Anyways. So, Let's see. Ryuga opting to go Corrin. Um, that might be a better idea for this matchup in particular. Do you know how Mario does against Ike? Not, I mean, Ike... Mario, basically, both Ike and Mario want to get a grab, but Mario's grab combos are just better. True. So Plus, Ike like, is a bit heavy, so he can get yeah, comboed a little bit it, more. Yep. That's exactly what I was going to lead into. Plus, but Mario also has cape, so he can possibly gimp his side B recovery. Yeah, it, it hardly snaps to the ledge. Mm -hmm. So, and with Corrin, and, and something interesting about a Smasher's Mario and a Ryuga's Corrin is Smasher plays the character Mario. He doesn't really always play the player. He kind of does, but he usually does that with his Mega Man more. Right. And Ryuga plays the player. He looks for the reads. He looks for your habits. Definitely. Tries to expose those using Corrin and the disjoints. So we'll see how, how that kind of fleshes out here. And I can you know, imagine Ryuga. It's especially good this. if your opponent just isn't used to the character just because it can be a bit of an awkward adjustment. And Ryuga definitely would want to capitalize off that. For sure. 100%. Like adjusting to a character. Nice coverage. Like, yeah, adjusting to a character, you might know the matchup, but you don't know the player matchup. Right. And also, so. Ryuga always looks out for that kind of stuff. I'm gonna see the, 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 the flood there being used. Nice up smash. Smasher just barely missing the spacing for the up smash. Oh. So, what we're gonna wanna see from Korn a lot is a lot of, like, zoning. We're gonna wanna see zoning. And we're going to want to see uh, trapping landings a lot. Definitely. And a lot of ledge play with the side B. I've seen Ryuga. Oh, I can't Ryuga, wait to point it out. It's played, so fun. It's like I've played Ryuga before. His use of side B is very interesting. It's he, use, he uses it to punish a lot. Yeah, he really like, does. Like, just like that. Yeah, he punished that. Because uh, it's so early. fast. It's so fast. And if you're waiting on the ledge for him to do something, which he might make it a habit for you to wait, he'll just side B and you'll die. Seems like Smasher uh, in that situation before might have just been waiting for him to do a side beat because that was what he caught him with last time he just ran in and grabbed. Uh huh. For sure. He's definitely picking up on his habits though. Ah, uh, Smasher! Good job ducking out by Ryuga. Smasher can. Oh, oh my god! Wow. That was nice. That He didn't use that at all. And you know, Smasher likes to go in all the time. Like I said, he likes to play Mario. He doesn't play the player as much when he's playing Mario. He just kind of went in and didn't up air. Ryuga knew he was going to go do something on the platform. Got Definitely. Him. Got him. Dude, nice wristband. What is it? I don't know. Some lady in Mexico gave it to me. Gave it to you? Yeah, man. Wow. Dude, I don't Mexican know why. Lady. Wait, was she good looking? <laughs> no. Was she like 40? 40 something. Yeah. <laughs> 40 or 50. They always do that. I was like, hey, it's a dope wristband. I like it's I'll take not, it. Man. I like the colors, dude. Exactly. I really like, like the favorite. colors. My bad. I, I've been hitting my mic on the on my shirt here. I always have it really low, so that way when I yell, it doesn't like make everyone like kind of their brain explode. Switching the Mega Man. Okay. Now I really like the the, the FD pick here. Like we mentioned earlier, Corn wants the juggles. Corn wants to get you uh, zoned out, and FD is the stage to definitely counter that kind of that kind of gameplay. Well, with Corn trying to zone you out, you're literally playing against a zoning character. So this might be really interesting, and it might yeah. be a long match. See how long it goes here, so. Just debating on how aggressive Ryuga wants to play. Yeah, he doesn't want to play aggressive or passive. He wants to play just kind uh, of in that that nice. Not little even middle. in the middle. He wants to mix up what he's doing. Okay. A lot. He wants to play aggressive sometimes, and sometimes he wants to just back just play more defensive. Yep, for sure. 
Throw that Metal Blade, trying to force an option. Smasher jumping, but jumping away, so he... And Corrin's so slow, True. can't really get the punish off. Whoa! Ha! Nice power shield. Smasher is hopping around shooting lemons. Shooting lemons, shooting everything, really. He's looking for some uh, minute opening, and there he gets one with the grab. Nice, nice job stopping the side B. Yeah, he stopped the side B. That was weird. Extremely, just right in its tracks. Literally, the train tracks, he railed it. I'm not sure if he was predicting it or not, but like, that was pretty sweet. Uh, but he grabbed right after it, so he knew. Oh! I don't think he was coming back because he re-grabbed. No, he tight. was definitely not. Really good. Uh, he always throws, Smasher always throws out the uh, the down air right there. Good counter read. And he finally got it there. Yeah, I'm trying to get the counter. Well, okay. People say nice counter read or nice, but like he's, he's just waiting for him to pick an option. That's true. Wow. Oh, wow. The, the nom combo. <laughs> Is that what that's called? Yeah, that's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the counter thing, right? Going back to that. He could be waiting for an air dodge, he could be waiting for an unsafe move, or he could be waiting for counter. He's just waiting so to just, do something. Exactly. So as long as he's he saw it was a counter, yep. so he had a lot of time. Yep. That's exactly what's going on there. And the metal blade gets eaten up by the melons. It's why, like, if you get the metal blade, he can't really do much with it. Smash is just doing smasher things, giving Ryuga a tough time to get in. But Ryuga, Ryuga though. In. Nice capital. Okay. Not getting too greedy. That's the side B stuff we were yeah, talking about. Yeah, I've seen that before. Like you said, he wasn't getting too greedy. He backed away right when he did that. Got him into another ledge situation. Both with center stage control, but again, Ryuga just zoning him out. We could up tilt. He was just barely in range for it, too. Yeah. Nice swag. Nice swag, Metal Blade. I love when he does that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But it goes behind the back. Like, come on, what are you trying to beat Michael Jordan right now? Nice. Metal Ooh. Blade, the back. Oh. He's brought this back. Well, oh. he didn't bring it back, but. Ryuga actually kind of brought it back in the up Nice up tilt. tilt. I like that. I like the, the sure switch. comes in. Sure, I don't sure like. I don't like calling anything sure you can except for when Ryu, uh, Ryu's playing. Because we actually have Ryu. Dude, there's like three sure you in this game. You I got know. Luigi. Luigi. Uh, Mega Man. And Ryu. And then Ryu. Like, <laughs> yes, I call I call it Ryu sure you can sure you can, and then I call you know I don't know. I don't have names. You got some bootleg ones. sure you can. Yeah, man. bootleg. <laughs> 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 we got the bootleg sure you can. Game three here. Game three. I always love to see game three. I love Because then game. it really shows you how much they've adapted to each other. And really you know, as players and to the matchups. Yes. Uh, throwing out the wild card Mega Man. Not too many people know the Mega Man matchup. Ryuga gonna gonna probably get his experience in the like, Mega Man matchup. Do we have any here. other Mega Mans in Michigan other than really Smasher? No. Or I any mean, notable ones? I mean, we have Arg. He used to play Mega Man. And there's another Arg plays one. like everyone, though. Arg plays Cloud now. I like plays Cloud. Like, well, I, I used only. to remember him playing like DDD or something like that really? at one point. That might yeah. be super early. I know he had a Mega Man. And I know there's another one that's around Arg's level. Yeah. But then there's Smash. I think I played against one. And then there's Smashers, like the undisputed best. Yeah, several tiers above everyone else uh, in the Mega Man, and that is. Hmm. Ryuga sticking with the corn doesn't switch to Ike or Cloud. I like that. Just, you know. Yeah. Uh, learning just what stick he can with do it, just learning man. the matchup. Exactly. Because exactly. that might be a little bit difficult if he switches to Ike, and especially if Smash has some sort of edge on him if he knows it a little bit more. <gasps> the up oh. airs. That did so much damage, he brought it back. Like, just like that, too. Throwing the Metal Blade at Mega Man's skull. The Melon's gonna knock him off there. The thing is with Mega Man. He doesn't really have too many things to do on the ledge. Mm -hmm. You know, like he can't, he has to hard read something. He can't just like cover a lot of options, you know. And then Mega Man also doesn't have a lot to do up close. Not really, he has to get you off, of, the, the thing he has is trying to get you off of him. So fair, bear, and like even nair, which is just the pellets. Right. He knock you off of him. Now, you're gonna try to, oh, oh again, my god, yep, he got yep. him again. And even if you would have like, even if he would have kept shield, it would have almost broken. He oh, oh my god! He caught that up B with the. He's caught him. Down air. Oh my god. Straight back, back to the shadow realm, man. And he's on the upper. He waited for the air. Oh, dodge he the missed upper. the ledge. Gosh, that's some heavy percent. 47. Right off the bat. Did you see that little 
That was a little bit of a style there. He dropped yeah. it, shot a lemon, and picked it back up in the air. So that was so pretty slick. sick. Yeah. That was his, so slick. His Mega Man is actually really. I actually really. I, his Mario is like okay, but I love watching his Mega Man. Dude, it's his so Mega fun. Man is so much fun to watch. Yeah, it really is. People gripe nice on grab. Smash. Like, don't gripe on his Mega Man. Come on, like. It's don't so sleep on the crazy. Mega Man, man. A lot of technical stuff this guy does with his character. Ryuga definitely doesn't want to lose this. He's been it's trying to evolve himself as a player. Definitely. And being stopped by this... this the spacing uh, is just Mega very... Man? You know, uh -oh. obviously because he's a zoning character. Oh my god. Ryuga just can't find an opening. That's pretty much his problem right now. You might get a little bit antsy. You might get a little bit... And he's playing really, really aggressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess Mega Man that might work, but if he plays too aggressive, he might get cut out by, as we saw last game, the up tilt. Exactly. Uh oh. Because he has overextended and went for too much. Well, this is getting really tense. This is kind of this is kind of moment. I know, man. Like, I let it play <laughs> out. Where it's like, what's gonna happen next? You know, it's like they've, they've, this is the moment where like they've both been learning each other. They've both dude, been learning the matchup. Who it's can just, capitalize off of it? It's just like a draw standoff, except like one dude has like a machine gun and the other dude has like a sword. The, yeah, like a sword. Oh my god. And it's god. like. Uh. He's learned how to just fuck the bullets with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> the other guys learned how to shoot away from the sword or whatever. Like, oh, he Ooh, maybe okay. he cannot be there. Maybe I don't really know. I wouldn't go for the up I just yeah, wouldn't go for an anything too unsafe. Because if he went for the up B and missed, oh, oh the up tilt. wow, great up Good tilt read. by Smasher. Good read. And that's what I mean. He went for the hard, and that's what you got to do as Mega Man. Go for the hard reads, and he went for and one. It won. And he got it. He got it, man. Uh oh, now Smash is doing this thing. <laughs> Look at Ryuga's And now Smash face. is doing Look the thing. Face. He's like, I don't care about what you have to say right now. <laughs> and Smash